my questions to panelists. Okay, we have a clear idea about what are the things you are looking for before you invest to entrepreneurs. But what about us? What are the things we should look for to investors? I mean, how do we choose you? Let's say all five of you came to me and want to invest in my company almost with the same money, same shares. Which Great one question. do I need to choose? Great question. Right, so, yeah. so, so the best, the, the very quick answer is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if we looked at you, we'd be taking, we'd, we'd be, be, be a pain in the head doing due diligence, finding what your grandmother does, who the name of your dog is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You should do exactly the same with us. And we should, we should give you a list of all the founders, all the CEOs that we've invested in over 14 years, and you should call them and find out how we, and not only as we as a company, as a fund, but how we and, and, and how individual partners in the fund behaved after they put money in. And then you decide. Yeah. Great question. Very simple. Any, anyone else got anything to add on that? I think that's a, yeah. I mean, I, I got this, the same question last night from someone else. And uh, I think when the things are going great, it's, it's everyone is happy, you know, everything goes well. I think you should always ask yourself, you know, along with what, what Charles said, do I want this guy next to me working with me when everything is, you know, we are going, we are going through some rough times. Uh, and I think that's why you, you should ask the, the portfolio companies, how did they react when things went bad? Mm -hmm. How did they react Pretty when, awesome. you know, we had to pivot or we, had, we needed more money or the business plan didn't pan out? Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's how you should decide on who, who you want to go with because it's, you know, it's a long journey and you want a partner who will push you and help you or lift you when needed. Yeah. Okay. One analogy is it's like a marriage. It's you know, before you, a marriage. <laughs> I mean, before you get married, I'm sure you would, you know, think a little bit about it, you know? Are you um, really? <laughs> so, so it's the same Are thing you here, born? you know, and, and um, um, at the time when the company is getting the investment is usually a time when things look pretty bright and good. But you also have to think about how uh, the relationship will be when, when things are pretty bad. Not about the relationship, but about the company, you know, when, when things are, are difficult. And you want to make sure that you have um, um, not just fair weather partners, but uh, rough weather partners as well, you know, who can help you with the ups and downs. Uh, I, think, I think, you know, that, that the, good thing, the good thing now is, again, the microphone is disappearing, but the, the, the good thing now is that I think it's really easy to, to get um, a view on, I think, you, you know, you know, with the internet, with the networks, with LinkedIn, with everything, with you know, it's it's really easy to find out uh, who you're comfortable working with and who you're not comfortable working with. And um, actually, from my perspective, um, if an entrepreneur doesn't do too much due diligence, that's also a red flag. 